Hello everyone! My name is Barbara, and I'm a Polish girl who lives in Ireland and likes to knit. And today is a um, finish up to the video, and I have socks for you. And today is quite a special day, so we closed who celebration. And because of that, I was knitting socks that they have a Christmas theme for me. Oh my, these are so pretty. So straight away I'm going to tell you this is not a tutorial, but don't worry, at the end of the video, well, definitely down below you have a link how to knit socks. Two at a time. I don't do that anymore. I start like single. I just do one sock and then I do another sock. And to kind of speed the process, I learn how to knit on nine inch circulars. And if you're interested how I do that, also there is a link for that. So I just am showing you how I do it. And just in case it took uh, it took me three pairs to knit to get used to it, but once I got used to it, I just love it so much. I even got myself a different size because I use sock yarn, so fingering weight yarn, some people can call it. And I lately, you may have noticed on this channel, check it out, um, socks playlist that I was holding a fingering weight to sock, you, you, uh, sock weight yarn double and I was using for that US size I think 2 which is 2.75 millimeters just check that maybe I'm you know I'm not really great to remember that stuff normally <laughs> so I always have to check so anyway um so yeah this is how I knit them toe up that's my favorite thing and you're asking me why so why do I like that first of all I just have to count till 12 because you do um magic cast on you start with magic cast on i normally do 12 either for me or for sebastian and i just increase until number of stitches that i'm happy with with my width of the foot and then i'm knitting it until i get to the bottom of the heel and then i know that that would be a point for me to uh, to do that in case you'll be following in my pattern um my toe Normally it's 1.5 .5 inch and, and the heel the same, so three inches. So if you go and Google sizes, like let's say you know that your friend is UK size six, you can definitely Google how how long that foot is and then that way you can kind of adjust that. So I, I, I like to have a little bit snuggled, so you know, don't go exactly with the with the with size I would say, um, unless you don't know the width, because if you go Tighter, I don't know, you know, just ask a person to draw a foot or even just to, to tell you the width of the of it and then when they put it on the ground and and then just put it on the ruler and tell me your size, uh, what, what the ruler shows and then uh, just uh, tell them for their shoe size and you will be able to, to knit socks. So uh, that's what I do, sneaky peeky. <laughs> so anyway, um, so, so anyway, that's that. And to why did I knit that? So anyway, I was thinking because everyone kind of knits the Christmas socks and stuff like that, I checked what I have in my stash. And I did not have my own yarn, but I had um, a two skeins, one leftovers and one actually a skein, uh, 50 gram ball that I received from friends. And I got this last year. So if you watched my Vlogmas uh, 2018, you could have noticed that I got um, this yarn from Diane. So thank you, Diane. I know you're happy. I know you're happy. So it looks amazing and this is the best thing, isn't it? That if you have some leftovers and you would want to share your yarn with someone and someone actually knits with it, you have delight. Um, so and now, where is the... So here, needles, I use Magic Loop first for the heel and for the toes and ribbing. Now I say on nine inches and over here you could see inside this hole there is a nine inch. <laughs> um, and... I have leftovers, so for the, um, this grey colour, actually I have information in my project Reverently Pete, so check the link down below. And this is a Drops Fable and colour is 114. And then the main one is uh, Red Heart. I think that's my first time knitting with this yarn, so I should put it on the title of that. Um, Heart and Soul with Aloha. I think that's the that's the that's the that's that's the that's the name. And the color is Christmas and it's 3973. So 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 Christmas. 
So check it out. This is the information about the color and this is how the, the label looks like. Information about the blend. I think it's a standard 7525, which means that I'm talking about wool and I'm talking about uh, poly polyamide, nylon, nylon over here. Which is exactly the same, it's just New York, London thing. Yeah. And I have some leftovers and I have another 50 gram. Oh, because Diana was so generous and she sent me two. And as you can see, I can definitely knit socks for myself with like 30 grams <laughs> because I use contact colors. And I asked, could I um, leave it and maybe swap someone with some leftovers and stuff like that. So I will knit with a different kind of Christmas color for the next year. So uh, stay tuned, check the knitting I love group on Ravelry because definitely I'll be probably informing who we want to swap this beauty. <laughs> probably I do that in January because in January people have some leftovers, right? Because, you know, we're knitting now in December, those Christmas socks. And be ready, <laughs> have it ready, be prepared. So that's that and I have some leftovers over here. Nothing that people can do with it I would say so we shall see what I'll do with it we shall see we shall see um so uh that's that and I kept everything in this woo! and I kept everything in this beautiful bag actually I kept two pair of socks when I was knitting so you'll see it again and that's I think this one and this one that's the only two I have in the Christmas vibe <laughs> but you know that's fine and I have socks over here my keychain you can check them in my shop down below link um and well, i see that's all because the rest is the next pair of socks which soon so i'm so thrilled and i'm so happy it is so nice and it's kind of vintage christmas i would say and somehow i really like that that vibe so cool Okay, so that's that. In case what I'm wearing, I'm going to put links down below to my finished object videos. Underneath those videos, you will have a links to the uh, pattern. Obviously, these are not, I didn't follow any pattern. I just followed my thing. So obviously, you will have step-by-step step tutorial uh, link um, that you can watch on YouTube in our guys these sucks. So I think that's that. I won't take any more of your time. Merry Christmas. So I hope you had an amazing Christmas and what I can wish you, a happy new year. Hope I will have another finished object video before it actually happens. Bye.